Check out that ghetto fabulous GoPro flotation device there. He's got a balloon stuck to the GoPro so that if it falls off and it floats. That's so hilarious. I guess the second most hilarious thing is the way it's loaded. What's up machines and machine freaks? Happy 4th of July, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let's take a second to remember Will Smith for uh, saving us from aliens. On a serious note, God bless America, let's start working on a Jeep. That's how much welding I can do before my alarm goes off and then I have to give my welder a break. There is definitely a lot of weld time here, so what I'm doing is I'm multitasking. I'm doing two minutes here, eight minutes off, and eight minutes is spent tearing other parts apart. For example, I just took that steering assembly apart. I then took the drive shaft apart, the front drive shaft, and I gotta get these U-joints off, this one and the other one that's on the other component. I'm powder coating so much stuff because I want a sexy, sexy ride. A sexy machine. many of you have ever been to New York or how many of you are in New York but New York is very very humid and I want to stay protected I don't want to get sparks all over my arms so I wear that jacket there unfortunately it's a Carhartt and it's a winter jacket so I'm literally sweating on top of the humidity and it's like 95 degrees but I'm not complaining I'm just saying it's really really humid and then you put a jacket on top of that you can get a little sweaty I'm working on removing all these lower control arm mounts there's four of them here. I have this one half off. There's another one down there, and then two in the back there. Unfortunately, I got a little excited, and I started welding the lower control arm to the new plate that we put on here. So I'm not gonna cut the weld itself. I'm gonna cut above there, and then I'll probably throw another weld on top of that so it just meshes together. And then same up here. I only did it on the inner sides, which is good, so the outer sides will be really easy. All I have to do is, you know, come in here with a grinding disc. And just, well, cutting wheel. Cut that right out. And luckily they didn't even weld it right there. I don't even have to worry about that little divot there. Can you see that? There's a tiny little divot. And then uh, get this weld out here. This is my 4th of July. My girlfriend and her family is having a get together. I'll see what's going on up there. They probably got some food. Maybe we'll shoot some skeet if Ian and the boys are up for it, if they're there. If not, uh, we'll be back to the shop any second. There's Dan the man's truck. A ram charger, whatever you want to call it. Maybe it's not a truck. I don't know. It's kind of like a Jeep. It's a Jeep thing. You don't call a Jeep a truck, or do you? It's crazy to see how much stuff really came off of this frame. I mean, this is just a frame, and, and look at, we probably have about five pounds worth of debris. What else is crazy is the fact that the weather can change like it can. It was just like 95 degrees, super nice, super sunny. And now it's it's a lightning storm. Freaking loud. Check this out, now we're on the Titanic. This is coming through the garage door. It's actually two of them. There's one there and one there. Probably won't be doing too much welding with a wet floor. I mean, we got low resistance. That's when you get shocked and die. Yeah, so the warehouse is literally flooding. Like you can see there's dry there. That's all wet, all wet, all wet, wet. Nice steady stream right here. Wet, wet. This is a really good steady stream. You can see this is just literally moving grass down, down my floor and into the neighbors. Well, it's good all those rod were junk because they're soaked now. Those are good gloves though. We better get those off the ground. The Duramax is getting clean though. It did let up a little bit. 
Okay, I'm in my Amish attire because you know how a couple seconds ago I'm like, hey, you know, the water's traveling towards the neighbor over there. Well, she called me over there. She's got like five or six inches over there, like complete of water. Hers is completely flooded out and it's still raining. Just beyond that wall it is. So hopefully it stops soon because uh, A, her place doesn't get any more wet and B, this place doesn't get any more wet. And you Amish folk out there, I don't know how you do it. Next day it's raining again, it just started raining. Something I forgot to mention yesterday, I'm going with the long arm kit on my Jeep. Now usually when you install these long arm kits, you have your vehicle, your tub on your Jeep, you have everything together on your Jeep, and you literally just have to cut off the four lower control arm mounts. Here's one of them right now, this thing's probably hot. You have to cut off your two rears and then your two fronts. Now I already did the front, the front was really easy because I could get in there with my grinder and, and make it look pretty decent. I have the outside surface done on this side, I have to do some patching down there with my welder. But basically all four mounts are off. Now to put in and install a lower... Hello? Usually you just take those kits after you cut your mounts off with your vehicle on your, your vehicle and you just bolt the pieces of steel provided to your frame. Now I'm powder coating my frame and I already know what I'm going to do. So that's why I'm prepping it all now and making a custom frame. So instead of the mounts being here, now they're going to be back here and same with the back, they'll move forward. So instead of being here, they'll be right here. So it's actually kind of neat. I am going with a four inch suspension lift and then a one inch body lift. So we're gonna have a total of five inches. There's another one. That one came out way better because there was no plate behind it. I welded this plate too good onto the original mount so I had to take my stick welder and stick cut it. I know it looks ugly now, but I'll patch it up, make it stronger, and then it'll have a good finish. And then after that, we'll get it sandblasted, powder coated. Monday is, I'm gonna get stuff sandblasted Monday. The diffs are going to one location. The frame and other miscellaneous pieces are going to another location because I have previous relationships with them. Gonna test these guys out, see how they do with the diffs. Tomorrow I'm gonna finish up just cleaning up this frame, getting it ready for sandblasting, and then tomorrow after that, we'll take this diff apart, get that thing prepped for sandblasting and powder coating. I hope you guys enjoyed this super froggy fresh 3D Machines production. Don't forget to hit that like button if you are a Jeeper. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Have a froggy fresh day. Yeah.